Okay. Um, so now when we look at this, when I take the fourth root, so I use my prime factorization to break it down. And now I have the prime factorization. So now we're not taking the cube root. We're taking the fourth root. So instead of grouping them in pairs of four or threes, we're going to be grouping them in pairs of fours. Because the fourth root says, what number multiplied by itself four times? Well, I have groups of four here, and I have a group of four here. So you can obviously see I'm multiplying two by itself four times. So the fourth root of two multiplied by itself four times is just two. The, cube, the fourth root of x multiplied by itself four times is just x. And then what am I left over with? Four, the fourth root of 2x. OK? Yep. You'd only have a 2 left over and an x. That's all that's left over, 2 and the x. And they're all still under the radical. I can take the fourth root of 4 times 4 times 4. Fourth root of 4 times 4 to 4 is, or 2 times oh, 2 times 2. I need cube root. Oh, I need mean, potential mm -hmm. dash. I need cube root. The one on the other one. The radicands? Because that 2 goes there, that goes there. They're still under the radical. I never took them out. They're still there. 